Good in yourself, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the heat yesterday almost killed me. But thanks for the aircon. Aircon save. Yes, it was quite hot yesterday. Yesterday and the day before, I thought I was going to die. Yeah, I think it hit like, uh, I, I didn't leave my aircon room for very long, but my wife told me it was very hot. They went to go and swim and all of that stuff. Can you, have you guys got sound now? No sound your side. No sound your side. No sound Craig's side. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Hello. I can hear you. Yo, I can hear you. Yeah, you loud and clear. Okay. Okay. Sorry, my mic was turned down. I was, uh, <laughs> I was on multiple <laughs> mics. So sorry. Okay. I spoke, I said all that shit, now I've got to say it for a third time. Holy crap, okay. <laughs> Welcome to 2018, everybody. I hope your vaping uh, December holidays and uh, New Year was a, was a good one and you're all rested. We have Ian in the house from, from Milk. Um, uh, yeah, how's it, Ian? I'm going to do that all again. How's it going? How's it going? Promise we didn't say half five minutes ago. Didn't, uh, te technical glitches, though, so sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Um, uh, I had to go and haven't done this for a while, so I had to go and adjust a whole lot of things and stuff like that. Uh, just tonight's competition the keyword is milk, M I L C. Okay, uh, that's going to be used for the uh, random draw a little bit later on, so you must use the word milk uh, in your um, somewhere during the course of the evening. Uh, we will be having a chat to Ian and um, uh, ask him a couple of questions, put him on the spot, maybe get him to tell a joke or two. Because he is a funny fuck. Um, uh, I've got a couple of products that I want to go through in the beginning, um, but uh, yeah, let me. I think let me get into my products in the beginning so that we can get that out of the way and then we can have a nice little chat like we used to. Um, so uh, we've have had products arrive. We've got a lot of products that are still arriving this week, but I'm going through some products that we've had that I haven't had a chance to actually even have a look at, and I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't have a look at them because there's two products that I'm absolutely blown away by. <coughs> One is this puppy for the mods. Uh, let me just try and see if I can zoom in there. You guys can see it. Okay. Um, that's the, it's a, it's, my, it's a, called the Rev GTS. It's a 230 watt mod, comes in two colors, red and blue. Uh, that's what she looks like. Absolutely stunning and sexy mod. Okay. It's uh, for those blingy people. It's got an actual Rev count on it. So when you hit and it does the rev counter on your wattage which i think is just so cool um it's got bypass modes temperature sensing all those type of things um i don't know why i never had a look at this before and okay yeah I, well i know why i haven't had a look at it because i've been playing around with squonkers because everybody knows i'm bonkers for squonkers uh, so i haven't really looked at any regulated mods because i'm i walk around around with unregulated stuff but i uh, regret it because yeah absolutely fantastic fantastic mod 
the build quality on this and the paintwork on this I haven't seen something this good in a really 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 long time uh, it's anodized aluminium um, lovely big screen it's not touch screen dual battery um, yeah absolutely epic 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 device he's on the slightly expensive side uh, for mods these days being 1300 Rand but yeah, if you're in the market for a good and when uh, it's also a hard hitting mod um, I always test things to my trusty V God uh, Minikin uh, and this thing hits probably one or two watts less than what that does at, um, absolutely phenomenal phenomenal mod also I like with the, the um, power button is over here and it's got in the menu it's got amazing functions you obviously it's got the clock and it's got timers and it's got freaking drag racing things and you can go and change the what the actual physical display looks like uh, and change colors and whatever and it's got a clock and a uh, timer and a whole other shit but yeah Bluetooth. Um, yeah. i don't know no i don't Bluetooth. think it's Bluetooth, they would. No, that's, <laughs> that i fucking don't know why people have bluetooth on a mod because that's like yeah, yeah me neither um yeah but um 230 watts dual 18650 got bypass preheat function memory function uh, tcr tr uh voltage range is 0 0.8 to 5 volts okay and resistance range 0 0.08 to 3 ohms so it can fire quite low and it, it, it also hits very quickly you know when you hit with it when you hit the button and you and it, it's there you know what i mean Sounds mean. Yes, it sounds mean. It's like an absolute, yeah, it is like a freight train. The second thing, I've got three things to show you. The second thing is this actual bloody tank. You know, I've been off tanks for quite a while now, you know, because pretty much a lot of the tanks were um, coming out. They're all very, very similar until I came across this, which I hadn't even tried because I've been uh, stuck with bloody um, uh, small RDAs and stuff like that. And this is the Kensai. Um, as far as I know, it's from Bandy Vapes. Okay, uh, knurling drip tip, really good quality made, and uh, the flavor on this thing is also really, really, really good. The deck is different to any of the other decks that have come out recently. I don't have photographs and stuff like that. Uh, you can go and look on the website for it. Um, no leaking issues. Um, bubble tanks that gives you that low because on the normal tank, I think it's like takes like just just short of two mils of juice. Fucking, that's one hit for me and it's gone. So yeah, so look a look out for that. That's also another another really really good uh, RTA. Um, and as far as I know, the guys in the shop have been selling these left, right, and centre. I've been so busy, I haven't really worried about it. But yeah, um, need to go. If you're looking for an RTA, that's that's something you can have a look at. But let's just check some some questions here, or let's just see who's here, so I can say how's it. I've already said how's it to a lot of the guys already. But let me go and check Dreshen all the way from the UK. Hello, man here. Uh, Rehan, Mr. Mr. Hewa, Mr. Hewa, who is he there? Well, Mr. Hewa is in the house. Uh, who's coppling? No, someone. No, sorry. sorry. Is my keyboard too loud? Is my keyboard no. too loud? Brad, <laughs> uh, sorry, dude. Brad copping, K O P P I N G. I saw the door it said Brad coppling. Sorry. My bad. I apologize profusely. Um, uh, Luke Reddy says milk zoo bee juice is one of the best juices ever. Okay, he's already answered the thing there. Yeah. Okay, the next little thing that I've got to show. Okay, I've got one last thing, really big thing to show. Is and I was a bit uh, old Musa from um, JJ's Emporium bought one into the shop and I was like, what the fuck was that? Is this little Nixon? Um, you can see I've got it on my. Oh my man, zoom focus. I've got it on my. Um, Monarch, which is dirty, yes, I know I need to clean it. It's a it's a um, really midgety friggin' RDTA single coil. Um, sorry, your yeah, RDTA bottom fed RDTA. Absolute the flavor on this thing is on par with the flavor. It's uh, I've got a, I've got a um, uh, one of the coil companies uh, special little coils in there. I forget what the name of the fucking coil is it's in the in it's the number first coil in the box of four and this thing is really 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 like a tank and it increases your volume of obviously it's probably about one and a half moles of juice it stores in that little reservoir underneath um, um 
well and that increases obviously the, the the amount of juice that you can carry so yeah that's another little small rd rda rdta yeah it's on rdta um that's come into the shop which is really sexy it comes in this like almost like a silvery gunmetal color and then a black uh, probably the only downfall of this thing is this is the mouthpiece is too small yeah, it, it can get really good it get hot if you've got a nice big jumbo coil in there so for those just joined uh, remember to use the code uh, the keyword milk uh, in today and then we'll be going into the live draw um, later on uh, I was supposed to show you guys a little while ago but I never had a chance to um, and you'll see uh, Ian's got one as well we've uh, working hand in hand with um, Monarch and doing uh, one of a kind piece well not one of a kind pieces there's 15 of a specific set of uh, Monarch bottom fed squonkers this is the steampunk version which one have you got buddy? Uh, I've got the green. Uh, I've got the green lantern. I only got it because I love the green button because it goes oh, with the zoo. Okay, that's clever. That's little clever. Did that little little did I know that you could get extra <laughs> shit for it. So <laughs> I'm definitely going to be ordering <laughs> a few more colours. <laughs> yeah. So those are in the market for a. These are there, there's only we're doing four series. Okay, we've done the steampunk one. We're doing it. We've done the DC comics one. The next one will be the Marvel comics, and then we've got a surprise one coming. Will be the last one. So that's. There'll only ever be 60 of these ever. Okay, there's 15. Am I right? 15? Yeah, that's right, yeah. 15 times 4 is 60. Is it going to be a silhouette of you etched in the in the side panel? Because I'd buy that. No. Uh, <laughs> definitely, not, definitely not. Damn it. Damn it. So yeah, have a look out for those. Epic little, epic little bottom feet squonkers. Sorry, I didn't turn my phone off. Let me just put this thing down, otherwise it's going to drive you crazy because Hugo's on leave and he's forwarded his phone to me and um, yeah. Someone says my stream is echoing. Yeah. Let me turn this off here. No, I can't. I can't turn that off. Yeah, I'm just going to have to live with it if it's echoing a little bit. Sorry, I forgot. I, 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 I work until late hours and I didn't have a chance to have it set up and KB was looking at it. But yeah, I'll sort the echoing out at a later stage. Let me just maybe move the mic to an angle. That might be better. Okay. So, Mr. Ian, I'm going to call you Mr. Milk. How did you get into the What's industry, Mania? Um, how did I get into the industry? Uh, well, uh, well, I got into the industry uh, uh, mixing, about sure, ago, about two years um, ago. Um, well, I got into mixing about two, two and a half years ago. Uh, stumbled upon my my partner Joel's podcast. I knew about him. I loved his juices and all of that. And one thing led to another, and uh, Joel called me up and he said, "Hey, what's up? Let's uh, let's do something together." And uh, 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 stuff like that never happens to me. That was a very lucky thing. Um, and yeah, the rest is history. Hey, we are almost going into our second year now, and uh, it's been it's been crazy, man. These bags uh, are, are truth to how hard this industry is. It's not as easy as you guys think. Yeah, I know. I can tell you that it's not as easy. Even yeah, your mark is echoing, buddy. Let me have a look. Let me have a look here. Just I want you guys to hear me twice. That's all. Have you not got a mic uh, attached to your webcam? Uh, I'm, checking. Uh, I'm checking now. Better? Better? Just talk. Yeah, better, better, hello. Yeah, hello. better, better, hello, hello, hello. There was a, there was thing, a on the, thing on the webcam, on the webcam but I did disable it. I must have re-enabled it. Let's see, once the, Let's chat, see, once the chat starts coming through. Yeah, they say, uh, okay, no. Nope. nope. I don't know, unless the, I don't know, unless the CIA has bugged my uh, my house, I don't know where another microphone could be, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't... Is it, it plays twice, so I'm just trying to figure out why it would play twice. Yeah, yeah, I've, got one yeah I've got one microphone and that's this microphone here, the rest are all the same. Not plugged in. Uh, it's, uh, it's yeah, 
My yeah, said my wife said the same. He said your voice is delayed. It's capturing your voice and then capturing it again, but at a delayed rate. So I think it might be your line in that you're pushing yeah. me through. Might be something like that. I don't know. No, my stream volume's not on. I've got headphones. Even if it was on, you wouldn't hear it. Yeah, but there must be a setting here. Okay, can you, uh, uh, is it better now? Is that better, guys? Is that better, guys? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me once now? Can you hear me once now? I think Sir's mic, think playing, mic voice. playing Milk's voice. Mm. Go to your outputs. Go to your output. Your outputs and see if, you yeah, outputs and see if you've got a line in line. I don't know how you've set it up, so I'm not sure. Now, just trying to think now what I can do. I'm also trying, frantic I'm also look trying look to frantically look here. Uh, let me see if I can use this. Nothing else. Nothing else. Is that better now, guys? Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Seems fine. Problem is volume is too loud out of your stream. It's gone now. It's gone now. I think it was your mic, your 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 your, that, your headsets. Right, I've got a mic here and it's picking up from the speakers maybe. Okay, there we go. Does you talk now, Ian? Seems okay, talk more. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I can't hear Ian at all. Actually. Yeah, there we go. You can't hear me. Just talk now, Ian. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, okay. it's coming through your speakers. Oh, it's coming through your speakers. Yeah, I'd like to turn you down quite a bit then. Sorry, I'll, Sorry, speak, I'll quieter. speak quieter. Speak softer. Speak softer. Who knew all the vapors knew uh, sound engineering, eh? Yeah, uh, I, I can't hear you. That's the problem. I can hear you just a little bit. I've got to turn your mic up a little bit so that I can hear it. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me yeah. now? Oh fuck! I don't even know what the solution is here. Uh, Never used to do that. Maybe twice just now. This. Uh, I want to unmute this. Holy crap! Desktop audio is up. Hmm. Have no clue. Have absolutely no clue what's causing it. Craig on Skype, change your output. Uh, tools. Craig, I, if, I, Craig I, if I unmute the stream, it sounds perfect. I'm a little bit low, but it's it's fine. So you just need to turn me up on your side so you can hear me, but I think that they can hear me fine. Yeah, I'm battling here. And yeah, my webcam, webcam uh, volume is turned down. Holy crap, I hate fucking having to sort this out while we're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Chilled, Ach, it's chilled, man. Microphone, that's that. Yeah, KB, go log on and fix it, buddy. Sorry, guys. Just gonna get KBG's, uh, my little techie here. Uh... Team viewer for the win. Team viewer for the win. Sorry, guys, about this already. Apologize. Come, guys, talk in the chat while we're fixing technical things. What mod is everybody using? What mod is everybody using? KBG, 
Maybe he's going to sort it out now. Yes, we would have to have technical. What's up, Bruin? Fucking irritating. Computers. It's computers. As long as you've got computers, you're always gonna have shit like that. That was my last business. Was IT. I'm glad I got out of it. Oh, so you're gonna have to follow us on social media to check the updates, my friend. If you haven't picked up by now, I don't know what. Uh, Vico, the reason we went with Zoo Biscuits is um, I've got two young kids and any South African parent has had a soggy Zoo Biscuit thrown in their face and after it's been on the ground and in the dirt and all of that. So it was just one of those things. Hey? It was. It sounded like a good idea. It was very, very, very cool. Um, and yeah, Hardwicks and I got together and, and thrashed some ideas around and... Uh, that's what we came up with. It was, yeah. yeah. The KB must be, the KB must be stop being lazy. Try and fix it. <laughs> Thanks, Nuno. Thanks, Nuno. Yeah, we. Uh, yeah, we. Uh, should be should be, should be, should be somewhere in Feb. Um, customs, and, customs and, and printers and, sort of and all of that sort of stuff, depending. But yeah, it's been a long one. But hey, yeah, it's this been a long one. Hey, this this one has been very, this very, one has been a very very painful one to to get going. Hey Joshua. What's hey Joshua, what's up, man? Oh, looks like he's sorting it out as we speak. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. I, I, I actually take my hat off to anybody who fucking deals with computers on a daily basis. I don't know if others can hear me, but my God, there's always something that goes wrong with the computer. And I'm, I'm fairly technically orientated when it comes to gadgets and computers and shit like that. But every day in my household, something goes wrong. It's either the fucking internet slow or the friggin' the streaming's not working or plex is not working or the fucking compu computer won't switch on or switch off it's fucking always something always ah uh, sure uh, those, uh, those, uh, those is whatsapps you get from your wife and my wife's watching <laughs> those whatsapps you get plex is frozen <laughs> fix it okay, oh, fuck. Reset. okay reset do, do this do that it's yeah it's a it's an uphill and struggle an and being IT, being in it all of your friends assume you know everything there is to do about computers and you're the the local it support regardless yeah, no, it's, 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 it's mind annoying mind, <laughs> guys are you still getting echoing yeah he's still busy doing something here just trying to check if he's still getting echoing ask some questions let let uh, Ian answer some questions haven't you got a new range coming out soon or new juice coming out soon Now I can't hear you. Just hold on. Ian talk. Ian talk, hello. Yeah, Ian talk, hello, you. hello. We you went you went all we silent go. there. Risty says he can't Risty hear me. Risty says he yeah, can't no, hear they, me. They, they should be able to hear you now. I don't know what the problem is. It's never done that before, so I'm sure my my little bitch KBG will sort it out. Yeah, while while we're talking there, <laughs> if you got an echo, guys, sorry, it's just just gonna have a little bit for a little while while we're trying to sort it out behind the scenes. It's fine now. Risty it's fine now. Risty says it's fine now. Says yeah, it's fine now. now. You can hear you, but it, they might still be echoing, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, he'll sort that out. He'll sort that out behind the scenes. 
I'm really waiting. I'm really waiting for somebody, and nobody rip off my my green wraps. I'm I'm shredding these wraps, so I'm gonna rewrap all of them. But I really I'm waiting for somebody to have like the beer hats where you've got a beer canister in each side, a pop from a squonker into a backpack or into a pocket fed system. Because these little bottles are, are they don't last me very long. I'm sure somebody's gonna make it happen. Plug in headphones. Plug in headphones. Working. KBG. Plug in headphones. <coughs> uh, let me plug in headphones and see if it works now. Okay, I've got headphones plugged in. Can everybody hear me? I can hear you perfectly. I can hear you perfectly. I'm hoping there's no echo. So if I turn that down, that volume's gone, and I don't get that back. Oh, so I've got to plug in my headphones now. Okay, KBG, where's those A5s? Where headphones. I need those A5s quickly. Can everybody <laughs> hear me now? Perfect, my side. It can't be any echo now. So, no echo. Ian, talk. Hello, hello, hello. See, no, yes, we you. can't. Now they're saying we can't hear him. I'm, I, listen, I'm, I don't trust anybody on the internet. I'll trust your admins. Admins, is there an echo? Is there an echo? <laughs> Yeah, we can maybe sort this out behind the scenes at a later stage. You're going to have to live with the echo. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, Ian. But we'll have to get you back some other time as well to do it again. But no yeah, it stress. seems like No stress, okay. man. No stress. No echo. No volume. Perfect. 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 Yeah, no, it just still has the echo. <laughs> <laughs> one, of the um, one of the admins just yes, ban Laura working, from the chat, please. Okay, <laughs> fast, uh, I'll just put the night bot on so she can be classed as spam. <laughs> please, do immediately. please do immediately okay um so there might be a little bit of an echo yeah uh, i don't know how to solve the echo because if i turn my sound down yeah i can't hear ian ian talk yeah. hello 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 anyone hear me yeah, without that i can't i can't hear him so tonight you're gonna have to have an echo uh we'll sort it out at a later stage yeah okay um if you were stuck on a desert island, what's the only juice you would take and it can't be one of your own? Um, um, shit, I'm very, shit, I'm very picky, eh? Um, um, to be honest with you, be the, honest only with you the only juice that I can keep to going back to and I kind of use it as a as a as a splitter is uh, is triple x that's 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 my my one that i put on a desert island sheesh i don't know maybe hot so the cool would help me i'd say probably triple x triple x is a staple kind of every everyone should have a a bottle of triple x in the back in my opinion in my opinion how many people actually say that the triple x um i hope you've made the pull version because you know, there's Red Pull. Well, why are we yeah, talking yeah. about that? Yeah, yeah. Can just explain what Red Pull is. Red Pull is triple X with the naughty stuff in it. And naughty stuff is diacetyl. And people who vaped the triple X when it was originally triple X um, all those years ago, uh, when it first came out, had the diacetyl version. So we've just got so accustomed to it. And like, you know, diacetyl is not a major issue no. in the quantity that you get it in, in vape juice. So that's why they bought out Red Pull. So Red Pull is the um, is the diacetyl version the of Triple stuff. X. It's the, the good, good stuff. stuff, yeah. The double cheeseburger, the double cheeseburger with, with chips on the side yes, of the milkshake. And the double, <laughs> double thick milkshake on the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you had to take a mod, what would be the mod be that you that you could take with endless supply noisy, of power? Noisy, noisy crickets. Noisy crickets V two. That that mod for me. That, that, mod, for me that mod for me is also it's 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 the mod, it's, that, I it's the mod that I always go back to. And I mean I've got just on my desk, on my desk that, I'm that I'm currently using at the moment. At the moment. Noisy cricket, uh, is, noisy always cricket is always in my rotation, yeah. and I spend, uh, I spend a lot of time at my desk and mixing and and and, and trying and back and forth and that sort of thing. So I've always got all of my mods around and fully charged and filled up. And um, noisy, cricket noisy cricket is the one that keeps on coming back for some yeah, reason. Eh? I just like the simplicity of it, eh? And I can drop it and not worry about it. Noisy crickets, like every two, three months, and I use it for like a week or so. But like, and yeah. you, what do you vape on? Do you vape on RDAs or RTAs? 
Uh, RDA's all, uh, RDA's all. I, I don't get any flavor out of tanks anymore, eh? I don't know why. I, I just. It's just the way I've. It's just the way I've, busy, I've, I've. I'm busy. I was busy. Where is it now? I was busy rebuilding on my. Uh, uh, my. Uh, Dot mod tank here. It's P324. Um, but yeah, it's. It's, uh, it's just personal preference, eh? I used to keep the tank in the car, but now that skonking is a is is a is a yeah. thing. That's that helps with the traffic and and all of that sort of stuff. When I when I do hit the traffic, I've got a squonker and I don't need to be dripping and driving. Because I've had some. I, I, I don't care who you are. I don't condone dripping and driving, but everybody does it. There's not one person here that that is in the chat that does not or has not dripped and dri driven before. It's just one of those things. But get a squonker and save lives. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squonkers on my desk. <laughs> it's really crazy, man. It's really crazy. And then I've got one, I've got this new one, which I'm actually, as I said earlier on, uh, the Kensai on top of the Rev, which I'm really, really, really enjoying. It's actually, if you want to try a tank again, Ian, yeah, you know, I know yeah. your wife bitches and moans when you spend money. He's not going to spend money. Uh, <laughs> she, what's still here? Uh, she's not, she, I promise you, Ian's not going to spend money at Survey. But if you want to buy a new tank, Ian, that's the tank that you yep. buy. It's actually really yep. got some really, really good flavor on. Yeah. What's um, it called? What's it called? Kensai. K E N S K E N S E I Kensai made by Vandy Vapes. Yeah, um, epic, epic. I'll put a link in there. Let me put a link if I can find the freaking thing. You have an order. You will have an order in the next fifteen minutes. Um, no, let me just find the. Where is this freaking thing? When you are looking for something, you can't find it. Also, if you mouth your lungers are out there, the, this Aries mouth to lung tank, uh, it's going back old school. And I think that's what's going to happen in the, in the vaping, vaping industry this year, is you're going to see a swing back yeah, you said. to the, uh, not to these cloud chucking devices, they're going to, it's going to swing back to the mouth to lungy and, and the, the flavor, these little flavor RDAs, because um, uh, it's just getting too expensive for juice. I know as juice makers, both Ian and I don't want people to vape on these little things and mouth to lungs because it knocks the profit. But I think that's where it's going to go to <laughs> down the line. Just trying to find it. Okay, here's it is. Yeah, I've got it here now. I'll just post it into the... Yes, this owns on the, on the ball, my boy. On the ball, Mr. Moderator. Moderator. You got it there before. I'm um, still all the way back. Um, yeah, I just... On the stuff that's arrived, that's that's one of the things that um, uh, everybody was raving about, and we got them. Uh, and I have to say, they're selling quite well. Is those Anokin Aries? And it's a mouth to lung tank. Really, really, really good flavor. Really, really good flavor. Um, I'll put that mouth to lung tank up here so the guys can see um, if they're interested in mouth to lung. Never been uh, been a big uh, lung, mouth to lung kind of guy. It's, it's I like, like I need that noisy. like. The noisy smashes me in my face, so that's why that rev. Also, I, when I heard that thing fire, I got shivers down my, yeah, my spine. <laughs> I bought okay, one of those. I've got some seriously big coils in there, but I've got some of uh, specialized <laughs> coils from Coal Company, in here, and you can hear this and listen. Oh, yeah, you can um, you can start a start a small bone with that. But, yeah, that's the, why, that's the but that's why that's the kind of mod you need on a desert island because you can start a lack of fire quickly with that. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah, shit, man. Uh, so, what's, what's, uh, if there's in, any new stuff in the pipeline? Um, uh, I think we did chat with while the, the sound was coming on and going, and I might be repeating myself. But anything new coming from, the, from you from Milk? Uh, yeah, we got one uh, yeah, we got one coming out in in uh, probably uh, mid to end Feb, um, which uh, we announced a day or two ago, kind of just poking the bear and seeing if uh, getting people excited for it. And then we've got we've got a lineup. I think we're going to be releasing uh, quite a few juices this year to keep up uh, to keep up with the competition. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually quite on that note as a juice maker. It's actually quite scary. Before we went on the live feed. Myself and Ian were having a dis discussion about uh, how many juice lines are actually hitting the South African market, and it's absolutely mind blowing. You know, in in the December holidays, I had uh, Transvaal and Pretoria descend upon Surveyth in Durban, 
and every single, well, not every, probably every third person who walked in dropped off some juice samples. And I've now got three big, massive, big boxes full of juice samples that I haven't even got to yet. And I'm sure that it's sitting in there somewhere is, is, is the next best thing. But I can't believe the amount of juice makers that are out there and everybody wants to get their line out. It's, it's, it's absolutely mind-blowing, mind-blowing. Um, like like, like, we, like, like we like we also said, you know, it is a it is a good thing that there's more guys coming in left, right, and centre. It's keeping the existing guys on their toes to not uh, to not rest on their laurels and you know stay on the one juice for years and years and years. But um, yeah, guys, it's not easy, man. And and if you take your juice into a shop and you don't get that call back, it's one of those things, man. Just keep on do keep on going. If your juice is good, you will be on the shelves. Full stop. If your juice is cuck, it's not going to be on the shelves. Don't take it to heart. If I could show you how many shit juices I've made in my life, uh, there's buckies and buckies full of them. But it's it's one of those things. So keep on going, but don't 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 expect every shop and take it on the take it uh, take offense to it when a shop tells you, listen, your juice is cuck, get out because they are literally getting. I mean, guys even bring me juice. Hey, check my juice. Can I release this? I'm like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. Like, okay, it's 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 whatever. It's it's, it's mind blowing. We've got one, two, three ranges le releasing this year, um, and yeah, to try and come up with something different that's uh, not been done in South Africa. You know, as <clears throat> What's his name? The uh, Wiener Vapes, old uh, Gerard. Uh, his new yeah. Um, yeah. Rec, rec, what's, it, what's it called? Rack City. Yeah. Rack City. Yeah. One of the juices is called Done to Death, and it's a small <laughs> milkshake. <laughs> I had to laugh at that. Though. I had to really, really laugh at it because the name, yeah. the thought behind it, yeah. is so true. Yeah. Strawberry milkshake. Yeah. No, for sure. Has been done, and the only one that's really been successful is Scream. Um, you know, uh, yeah. yeah, scream is good, man. Scream is very good. It's, it, it, it seems to be the thing, it seems to be the thing you know. Everybody starts out there mixing, they you know, they go into the websites and they see a recipe and they tweak it a little bit, and they always end up no, try my new chocolate milk, try my new strawberry milk, try my guys. You got to think outside the box. There's somebody needs to make like a bacon and cheese sandwich vape. Think out the box. Yeah. That's like my that's Just my opinion. Don't bring like, it to there's... me because there's two places <laughs> that are banned in my shop. It's licorice <laughs> and bacon. So don't, yeah. don't even bring it to me, boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm okay. Bring so I'm gonna bring you TFA honey at like twelve percent. Uh, no. <laughs> and one of the guys asked me, "What's uh, Craig's? What's your go-to juice?" Um, I'm actually uh, I vape so much stuff. But at the end of the day, my favorite juice of all time, and those I've said it before, is VCT. I cannot vape enough of this juice. It's a vanilla caramel tobacco. It isn't international. It is fairly expensive. But when I say I've probably done, in my vaping time, 30, 40 liters, 50 liters of this, that might be an understatement. I often, I always joke about it as I could use it to brush my teeth, put it in my coffee, I use it as aftershave, freaking, yeah, I could use it as cologne or whatever. That's my go-to juice. If I if nothing else is 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 uh, is, is um, um, working, that's my go-to juice. Ian, what's your go-to juice? I hate to say it, but I hate to say it, but world world is the only world thing I vape. I'm so boring like that. <laughs> um, world and triple X and whatever I'm working on, whatever the thousands of things that I'm busy working on at any given moment. But yeah, world and triple X back and forth, back and forth. That is a is a one liter here in the back. That I've smashed that thing by myself. <laughs> um, I've, the guys yeah. was wanting to ask also another question earlier on. I saw which I didn't get to. What devices you busy vaping and what juice in there? So I'll start off with Mr. McKenzie's juice. Um, I've got World. I've got that in my Drip Tech DS on it with a goon with a seriously low build on. I won't tell you what the build is because I'll go to jail. Um, um, on <laughs> that, so that's in my Drip Tech. Uh, on in my White Monarch. I've got a experimental juice that I'm busy working on that we've got a juice tasting session coming up on Friday, which will be released. I'm just kind of like version like 75. So that's all that's close to be being released. That's which I'm doing a juice tasting session on Friday and that's one of the juices. And it's, um, yeah, it's quite a good one. Uh, in this dot mod, I've got 
strawberry jam monster. Uh, that's those ones there. Have I said this one already? In this monarch, I've got VCT. In the Kensai, I've got uh, also an experimental juice that's uh, um, also going to be up Friday, which is one of my new ones. And in my inbox, I have got a international flavor by Poet, uh, an epic range of juices. This is a Cinnabon, but a Cinnabon with a difference. Um, really epic juice. So that's what I'm vaping on today. What, what you, what's in your mods? What? Um, um, I've got. I've got. What do I have in here? What do I have in here? Uh, in here, I've got the, the new release, which I'm uh, trying out. Trying out. In my Monarch, uh, in my Monarch I have Triple X. Uh, uh, no, I've got Wald in my Monarch, Triple uh, no, X in my Noisy, and this had another release that I'm working on, but I was rebuilding on it so I could try it out in a tank. This Squonk is also in for repairs. Um, yeah, you know is, but yeah, you know what the thing is, it's we try so many juices and it's a constant, it's a constant change. You you're constantly changing. It's one of the the blessings and a curse because we can never find a juice that is our all time all day vape. But uh, we're constantly trying everything. To be honest, well, I am personally. you get to because myself and Hugo often complain about besides VCT, which we both can vape the whole day. Both myself and Hugo, because it's both of our favorite juice, and we we tend up end up fighting, and Hugo always wins. <laughs> when there's uh, a couple of bottles left before we order again. But apart from that, you, see, you go through this where you just can't find a juice that satisfies you. Have you, have you, have you had that? Yeah. All the time. All the time. Today. All the time. For for me as well, it's it's the device. The device. I get a device and I get so bored of that device. It's no longer giving me the satisfaction. I'm not getting the throat tits. I'm not I'm not getting anything anymore. So it's it's nice to have to switch back and forth. Well, that's how I spend my life switching between the two. My mom thinks I'm crazy. She's got one device, one tank. She vapes world in it 24 hours a day, and once a year she'll change to Zoob when she's bored of world. But um. Uh, yeah, it's 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 for me. I have to change. I can't keep doing the same thing, which is it's weird because it's not like you go to a, a shop, a, a garage, and buy Marlboro today and buy Stuyvesant tomorrow. It's weird that we can't find that one. I think it's the options we have. We've got so many options, and there's so many good juices out there. There's also so many cuck juices out there. How many different juice brands there are in America? Because you know, oh. in, in, in to stock juices in, in Southern in Durban, or I think in any vape shop, I was going to say in Durban, in any vape shop, it's going to be battle. Is to stock what people are actually enjoying. It's it's oh man, it's painful. It's yeah. painful because you can yeah. have uh, the flavor of the month. This month is the X, and then next month it's Y, and you can never ever keep up with what's what the amount of juices that are coming out in the marketplace. And, and, that's also, and, and that's also goes back to our last point of all the new juice makers out there. You've got to understand a shop needs to pay for the juice. they got to sit on that stock for, you know, it's a gamble for them. Every order for them is a gamble. It can die at any point. You know, they can spend a million rand on a juice and be like, yes, this thing's going to sell. And it does. And now they're sitting with that stock. So, you know, shop owners as well are very hesitant to take on new brands because the, the, the life cycle of a juice is, is probably around three, four months at this at this point with the amount of new juices constantly coming out. Oh, no. It's, it's mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. Um, yeah. Let me just check here quickly to see if there's any other questions. And there was one from, and there was one from Risty a while back, and I haven't gotten to him. Um, yeah, he says, Mr. Milk, I'm curious on your involvement in esports. I'm seeing a lot of people with hashtag get milk in their name. Have you fully sponsored a CS team? Well, I have been heavily involved in the esports scene for a while. I used to play um, Premier Division for WRG. I retired because apparently I'm very old <laughs> and the reflexes aren't there anymore i then went into a coaching position and then with milk and i just didn't have the time anymore but yes i am i am sponsoring wrg uh, at the moment uh, and there's a there's a couple of fans out there who put in get milk in there but uh, no i'm not i'm not just sponsoring random people i am involved with wrg and uh, you'll see that in the future but but yeah that's that's about it you want to play some csgo with me we can we can go yeah i see that uh, we we also sponsor um a team called high five which are basically first person shooting although we do i think we have got a csgo team i think it is 
Abba, I wouldn't even know. Hey, I'm so I'm so disconnected with 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 that Paulie, stuff at the moment. Well. Yeah, Paulie, Paulie's got a yeah, Paulie's. yeah. Paulie's. Yeah. I've seen polies, I've seen Vape King, I've seen Milk, I've seen your guys, I actually bumped into your guys at Rage DGC, was it last year, the year before, I can't remember. Um, yeah, but it's, it's getting out there, I mean, there's there's a lot of international teams that are sponsoring, uh, international, international juices that are sponsoring teams. The, 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 the exposure is exposure's crazy, man, and you know, 90% of the guys that are playing these games are youngsters. Help them out with a couple of bottles of juice, or you know, that sort of thing. So we happy, happy to help, happy to help. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's surprising. I'm a console gamer. I know you're a PC gamer, but the amount yeah. of uh, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, any or console, console guys actually do vape. I was, it, I was playing the other night. I was Huge. in a random lobby. I had no mates of mine playing with me. I was playing um, uh, um, Search and Destroy. And I, w I wasn't in party mode and I got killed. I was first to get killed. So I was sitting waiting. Now I got to respawn the next round and next minute day. <laughs> I was going to say, you just hear that. <laughs> and you know, you're like, yeah. Anybody and nobody knew anybody. I think, I think two yeah. guys were mates and they went, they had partied up. And out of the six people, four of them vaped. It was like, yeah. oh man. Yeah. But the funny thing is, is we've got a PS4 no, account. I, I, I spoke to you about it before the show, but yeah. I'll just tell the yeah. that we've got, a P, we've got a PS4 account survey. The amount of messages and friend requests from PS4 players in South Africa that vape. And, and it's over, I, I stand to be corrected, but it's between 1,000 and 2,000 people plus or plus minus. The amount of people that have sent friend invites. Today, I accepted like 35 at the end of the day today. Because I was sitting jamming a bit of cod before it was quiet in the after, quiet in the afternoon. It's mind blowing, mind blowing. And if they say so oh, vape crazy. on it, you have got to come play with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a full lobby. Eh? It's a bonus yeah. over there. Just take a few juice and you can come play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know what? The 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 cool thing about it is like in my old team, I th there were five of us, and four out of the five guys vaped avidly. Um, when we used to get together to boot camp and stuff like that, we used to get together at a, either at a house or at my old uh, office's um, uh, boardroom table, and like we used to hotbox the crap out of that room. It was it was it was quite cool. But yeah, if you even if you go to rage, you go to rage and you you walk around rage and you see the guys vaping. It's it's yeah, it's, it's massive, huge, man. Massive. It's huge. It's the youngsters, and I'd rather have them vaping than than smoking. So that's that's really awesome. Touchy one that uh, being a shop owner is that. Uh, get these lighties that come into the shop i've got a standard thing yeah. if you're under the age 18 yeah. you're not allowed in my shop um no, but the amount no 100 18s that come in with their mom and dad into the shop to buy stuff but the moment mom buys it for the son that's it's absolutely mind-blowing it's probably yeah, one out of you know what the thing is, is i would are, say one out of five customers are actually under the age of 18 that come in with their parents yeah, no, hundred yeah, no, percent. You know, what I would, I would say, like, if my kid, my kid's only five, so it's a long time before, before he would ever ask these questions. But if, if he had to come to me at the age of fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, I'd say, listen, go for it. I would way rather my kid pick up a vape and start vaping than than pick up a cigarette. My son's been there. My son's without a doubt. Twenty seventeen now, and he said, Dad, mm. you know, look, um, everybody else is doing with your mind and it's like oh, i'm not really keen on it but you know okay fine as long as it's yeah. zero milligram nicotine and whatever like that I'd yeah rather, and as, as you said i'd rather him what then but he's not allowed to vape in the shop because he does come to you so he, he won't he doesn't look his age because he's mm. my size you know he's a big guy junior yeah. you know <laughs> he doesn't look his age but yeah, yeah. um yeah yeah not, uh, not yeah but yeah yeah no, listen, I agree. You have to have that that line in the sand, and obviously a little. I mean, I was in. I think I was in a vape king, and this kid looked. I promise you, he looked like thirteen. Like he was tiny. He had his little backpack on and his glasses, and he came and he's like, "Oh, can I get some coils for?" And I was just like, "What the shit?" And they turned him away. They're like, "Sorry, dude, you can't. You can't buy it. It's. It's sorry." Which is good. I understand that, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. But you know, I, I think. I mean, yes, I used to scale him cigarettes from my. Uh, from my parents, from shops, from whatever, when I was 15, 16. So they're going to so find a way. And if they find a way, then so be it. But as long as it's vaping and not smoking, in my opinion. Let's check with some questions. Craig, have you seen the Vandy Vape Phobia and the Kylan Single Coil? Uh, yes, I have. 
Um, we are we should have the car in single coil as soon as it's released. Eh? Um, I must say that really it's a, quite an interesting deck that the way that the airflow the airflow actually comes. Yeah, it's, it's like a um, what do they call those things? Honeycomb honeycomb base of the deck. So the air is coming. The entire base is almost fully airflow. So I think that's actually going to be quite good. I just hope to hell that it doesn't leak up the original batches of Carlins because that was an absolute nightmare for a shop owner. But um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I have seen them. Thanks, buddy. See. Check if any other questions. Any other questions for myself or Ian? Um, um, Ian, are you part of that Discord group, eh? The Vape DIY Uh Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I must actually punt that more. I've got so many people wanting to get into DIY. I just don't have the time to 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 um, sit down and help them more. I must actually yeah. put them onto that. Yeah. You know? You know what the thing is, is you know what the thing is is in my opinion if anyone wants to learn how to mix wants to mix at a cheaper price and that sort of thing diyordie.com go there have a look at their stuff there's so many from the beginning to how do I mix in mills how do I mix in grams what is this what is that you really learn a lot it's going to take you time but instead of watching Bridget Jones diary 412 watch that at night you know if you want to if you really want to do it that's 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 uh, what a lot of people People are doing. A, a, a e juice maker or a vape shop owners, you watch YouTube a shitload and yeah, uh, yeah stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Do you know a cool Do fact you know that 80% of, of South Africa's, South Africa's internet and, and bandwidth YouTube. is spent on wow. YouTube? 80%. 80 so percent so it's higher than banking, higher than by anything by, by sure. far. It's quite scary though. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was yeah. before Netflix. Well, Netflix. Netflix may have overtaken it, but yeah, it was a couple of years ago that YouTube was. It's the new TV, man. I don't even have DSTV. Oh, really, really DSTV. No thanks. Yeah. Five, five, six years ago. I the last time I did it. Guys, um, just, no uh, thanks. Uh, obviously, this is the first. Uh, we've had a bit of technical issues, so I do apologise. This is the first show of the year. I have got tons of new stock arriving. And new stuff that no one's ever seen before arriving in the next two weeks. So I'm going to be doing a lot of these little one uh, 10 minute clip things of the new stuff coming in and unboxing type video. So those will be put up on my YouTube, YouTube channel. Um, uh, and obviously I've got a whole lot of more guests that are going to be on the show. I've got guys, uh, quite a few guys interested in coming on the show from uh, juice makers or fellow vape shop owners or uh, coil makers. Uh, you name it. Uh, Rob Fisher is even one who wants to come onto the show. So that's cool. Um, going to try and keep the shows down to an hour because I heard a lot of the complaints was the show's going for far too long. Because uh, I can jibber jabber and uh, so can my guests because I know you can talk the hind leg of a donkey. Um, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Um, yeah. So tonight's. Uh, uh, Ian has kindly donated a 100 ml bottle of Zub and a 100 ml bottle of, um, uh, they are right there, of World, World. Uh, up to the winner of tonight's show. Um, just so if you haven't done already, just please make sure to use the word milk somewhere, M-I-L-C, because then I'm going to do the lucky draw in a couple of minutes time before the end of the show. Um, and then the person who won, uh, are you going to send them out to them? I'll send you the details. It's 100%. Just it's get 100%. Just get the nicotine strength, strength and stuff, and I'll go for it. And my SMD partner just said SMD is calling. So, yeah. <laughs> Time to go do a bit of gaming as well. Uh, I have to say, I have, I have been really enjoying World War uh, Two. Um, boots on the ground, none of these ninja kittens jumping or 14 walls, and then uh, quick scoping you across the map. So, I'm enjoying that. So, I'm going to need to go and play some SMD before I go to bed. Uh, rocking the daisies. Uh, no, no, I haven't even had a chance to taste it, my boy. I haven't even had a chance to taste it. I promise you I'll taste it. Um, uh, smelled good though. Um, but yeah, okay, so let me better see everybody's using the word milk. Okay, so what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to just flip across onto the the randomizer. Just huck, hold on two seconds. Let me make sure it's opening. The night bot's opened. And I'm going to go on to the lucky draw. Okay, so those, oh, wait, I need to put that on me. Why is that not coming on here now? There you are, there's the lucky draw. Okay, uh, so 
what I've been slowly doing is I've been these two little bars that you can see move here is every single show I slowly start increasing these uh, two bars what this basically does the more you watch me uh, and uh, uh, the better chance you've got of winning eventually it's going to be a hundred percent at the end so you've had to have watched me once before to be able to watch the show once before to be able to win the key word is obviously milk these are all the people that have used the word milk and will only obviously come up once some people are online some people are offline um, and what I do is, is after the third roll so I hit the roll button three times uh, the person who's on the third roll is the winner so I'm going to do that now guys, so if you haven't used the word milk, you've got exactly 30 seconds to do so before I use the word milk. And hitting it, if you said milk once, it doesn't matter, because um, it'll only allow it, twice, allow it once. But if you hit it, if you said milk three times, it'll only allow you to put it in once, so it's fine. No cheating. No cheating. The beauty of technology. See this little yeah. button here? Yeah. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> it I'll enable, see it in a minute. In a minute. Or disable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna hit the you like now. you like technology. Huh? You like technology. You like this technology. This this mug here. Yeah. <laughs> my mom bought it. My mom bought it for me yeah, for Christmas. On. I can't see the mug. She, it, I've got to see this. I'm just gonna quickly disable this. You have to see this. You're gonna want one. So this mug is an electric mug. It's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all of that sort of thing. It basically keeps your coffee hot all the time so at, any stage, like so at any stage like this is a cup of coffee i made like five hours ago and it's full 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 ball anyway 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 okay. to gimmick okay going back to the lucky give a waiter okay, guys i'm going to do the random draw now i'm going to hit the button three times and the third person the third and the third roll the winner i'll tell you who the winner is okay you'll be able to see it live so roll one no no oh shame my boy roll two joshua thomas and then the lucky winner of the two bottles of 100 more. And remember, I only give one prize away again. So if you're one of those two people that have already said tough cookies. And Enduro Rider, you are the lucky winner. Please get a hold of me via PM so I can actually get your, your details. And we'll get those prizes out to you, buddy. Cool beans. Otherwise, what else you got to say, my boy? Not much, man. Ach, not much, man. Not much. Busy, busy. Off to East London for a break tomorrow. Sorry about the nice. technical issues there, but nice. yeah, it's, uh, uh, I, uh, I thought I'd have everything sorted out at KBG was, but obviously that's something that we need. I need to sort out before next week because I don't like wearing these unless I'm gaming. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. It's also I my, my shit broke, so I had to yeah. use these. It's, it's but I mean, it's man. it's understandable, man. I'm sure these guys don't mind that no, much. It's a bit of a social thing. Yeah. I've got yeah. thousand moments when I don't yeah. do it. Yeah, no, exactly. I don't know how many messages I've had. Yeah. Why haven't you done a show? Why haven't you done a show? Why yeah, yeah. It's just too false to find the time, but I've now got time on my hands, so that yeah. uh, makes life yeah. easy. But Ian, thank you very much for being yeah. on the show. I'm going to call it quits now thank for the evening. So uh, thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Good juices, uh, and I'll take my five liters of uh, world uh, for the show. Okay. On its way. <laughs> on its way. Just joking. Just joking. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry about the technical issues in the beginning. We'll try, try and make sure that that's all fully resolved by next show. Uh, and I will get Ian back on because obviously it wasn't fair in him that the show wasn't uh, full length. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Much appreciated. And keep on vaping. Make sure that you are spreading the, spreading the word of vape. Eh? Cheers, guys. Cheers.